Hey everybody, welcome back for part four of this series. Let's get going. On this video, I wanna go ahead and make the brackets that are going to attach the um, corner pieces, the vertical pieces, I've been calling them the uprights, um, in all four corners. Hopefully get all those drilled, um, fabbed up, get the uprights bolted to them, and then maybe if we're lucky, even get those brackets welded onto the base. So I cut these brackets to length in part three of this series, and then I already went ahead and drilled three holes in this bracket. So the idea is this portion where there's no holes, I left an inch and a half before the first hole will be the bottom. So then you've got an inch that it's gonna overlap with the base, like so. Then it'll look something like that. And then that extra half inch just gave room for the bolt and the nut to go on there nicely. So one hiccup that I did run into is I was planning on putting four bolts into each one of these. So basically I'd have my two bolts on one side, so it would sit like this, and then I'd have two more over here. And I very quickly realized that if you look at it from above, the holes or the bolts that are coming in from this direction would hit the bolts that come in from this direction. So that's why I decided to go with three bolts and then kind of stagger them. So that's kind of one of the examples I kind of mentioned too in part one where I said, you know, there's gonna be little hiccups and little, little issues that arise along the way of building this. And you kind of just got to live with them, come up with a solution and keep going. When I was trying to design these in CAD and design a complete enclosure, I kept running into all these little issues and it was just so tricky to keep pressing forward. So that's why I decided I just need to commit and start building. So this is the end of one of the uprights that's already cut. And so it is going to bolt on to the bracket, something like that, right? I want to go ahead and grind a little bit of this sharp corner here off of here because on the inside corner of angle iron, you actually have a little bit of a rounded edge, like a fillet. So the plate doesn't actually sit nicely together. There is a gap. It's really hard to show you on the camera, but this piece kind of just rocks on here. And that's no good. We want it to be nice and tight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna measure about three inches um, up the length of this. Take my grinder, buzz down this, this tight corner So it looks like I'm gonna to get to share with you another one of these little hiccups. When I drilled the holes in here, I drilled them dead center into this um, angle. It's one inch wide if you measure on the outside of the angle. So I drilled my holes at the half inch mark all the way down the center line of it. Didn't think about how it's gonna be nesting into this new part. So as you can see, when you go ahead and nest that in there, the outside piece, the one that we already drilled, is obviously gonna be higher up because it's stacked on top of it. So now these holes for this one are definitely not on the center line of the big piece. So the question now becomes, is there enough room, because it's gonna be higher up, to actually get a hole drilled in there? So I did some you know, back of the napkin sketch, I guess you could say, on that two by four right there and figured out based on the diameter of the nuts that I'm going to be using, that it should work. It's gonna be close. I've got five thou to spare. <laughs> so that's really close. So I went ahead and clamped that piece on there where I want it. So I'm gonna use my trusty centering punches. These are a great thing to have around the shop. Um, you buy them in sets and they're based on the diameter. This one is exactly a quarter inch, you know, give or take, it's Harbor Freight, with a tip at the center. So. You can toss that into the hole, use it as a center punch, and it will put a divot right in the center of the piece. Great for lining up holes. Now for the moment of truth. Will this piece go on to here? Dun, 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 dun. Wow, it's even turning. I, I thought the nut would be stuck right there. So 
So that actually looks like it worked pretty well. Um, I was expecting the nut to not even be able to turn on here and the nut can even turn on the back side. I thought it would be up against the, um, the other side of the angle. So I think I might actually keep it this way because when I go to seal all that um, aluminum, which the sheet metal, um, aluminum is what I ended up getting by the way, I'm gonna be running a sealant right across here. And so this actually gives me, you know, a quarter inch or more to run a bead of like butyl tape is what I ended up buying. So I think that's gonna work out perfect like that. And so I'll go ahead and drill the third hole for over here. And then I will call this part done. And then three more to go. All right, so I just finished the first corner. So that's three bolts, six holes total. So 18 holes to go for the rest of the three. If only I had a computer controlled machine that could drill these holes for me. I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I've got all of my holes drilled for the upright brackets and the uprights, uh, at least for connecting the uprights to the base. I didn't drill the holes to connect the uprights to the top because I want to leave myself a little bit of flexibility in the design because I'm not 100% sure how I want to do that yet. Pretty sure, but not quite there. One last thing, let me know in the comments what you think. I had to take off half of my um, splash guard to fit the long uprights on the mill. And I've been kind of wondering about this and maybe some of you that run Tormox with enclosures already know, do the Tormox with the enclosures leave that splash guard on there? Uh, I'm kind of thinking it would be good just to keep the chips and the mess kind of consolidated on the table. But um, yeah, I'm just kind of curious about that. Let me know in the comments. So that's it for now. I will see you next time.